Hello everyone. In my previous lecture, I introduced you the multiple integral in which the double integral was discussed, wherein I covered the geometric meaning and also share with you the rule of evaluation that it is a successive integration process and what are the various cases we can come across and also solve one one example of each type. I want to proceed ahead with it reason because there are a variety of situation to make the concept clearer it need to be discussed uh, further a number of lectures are required to make the evaluation part clear I want to share with you again that what was that we have seen that there were three cases either we have a limit constant or x variable limits and y variable constant or y variable limit x variable x limit constant now how why such limits come up that is one point you should always remember that whenever the boundary is rectangle in shape or square in shape we always get a constant limit both are constant and if any of the region or fully it is curved or slant lines if the boundary is made up of such kind of lines uh, boundary is like that then or definitely the cons variable limit will come you can see with the help of some examples here I have taken some region so that you should get a clarity that why the limits comes out to be the variable whenever we if we see the boundary is curved or slanting lines or anything of that mixture of it it always give you the variable limit whereas when, when it is rectangular region or you can say square then the limit always comes out to be the constant now i want you to just uh, recall back when the both limits are constant it means the question is to be evaluated over the rectangular region or vice versa and whenever you see that limits are variable either it is x or it is y then it means the boundary is not rectangle it is non-rectangle either you get some slanting lines or you get some curved boundary anything can be present over there so that is one important point you should always remember and uh, which is constant which is variable it depends upon question to question because it's not like that there is one point warning is you will never come across or you will never see that both the limits are variable that is not possible in the double integral either both are constant or one variable the other is constant it can be x it can be y now we want to see with the help of example here I'll take one example now in this question we have to evaluate this x into y dx dy over r now limits are not given you can see from this question our information of r is given that r is a region bounded by x axis line x is equals to 2 and a curve y is equals to x square so in such kind of cases what is to be done with evaluation i cannot do like this because i don't know from where x is to be starting and ending and from where y is to be starting and ending so limits are not given so first task would be to draw a rough sketch so rough sketch for that we are reading the region x axis is one boundary so x axis is this axis here this is x axis and always remember equation of x axis is x y is equals to zero we are more interested in equation rather than its name so y is equals to zero is x axis one boundary all right now what is one more x is equals to zero and y is equals to x square first i'll plot y is equals to x square it's a parabola and it's an upward parabola so i'm going to plot y is equals to x square so it's a bit trick and uh, I'll, I'll write y is equals to x square now this you see that y is equals to x square is this parabola y is equals to 0 is this line so they are intersecting at this point and this point is 0 comma 0 the common point of these two now I need one something about it is not a closed region so I this one more line is to be plotted that is x is equals to 2 for example if x is equals to 2 is this line so I have plotted x is equals to 2 here x is equals to 2 now you can see x is equals to 2 y is equals to 0 and y is equals to x square these three line cover this region so this is r of the question now as soon as we have drawn let us first find out all the point of intersection 
when x is equals to 2 if you put it into the because this point is an intersection of parabola and line so when I put x is equals to 2 what will be the y value y value comes out to be the 4 so this point is this is 2 comma 4 this point is it is intersection of y axis and x is equals to 2 so this will be 2 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma 0 so I got these three points because these are the point of intersection now one task is done that is draw the rough sketch so as soon as uh, you draw the rough sketch decision is to be taken in which side we will do the integration because it is a successive integration so either x will taken first or y is taken first so if y is to be taken first the vertically we will go first and then we will go in the other direction so right now what I am taking a decision I would prefer to go in the y side because if I go in the vertical direction I get under root of y and don't want the root sign so my first preference in this question is I should go vertically vertically means limit of y is to be taken first so I put arrow just to give an idea that in from where to start and from where to end now one point I want to make it clear that while taking the first limit you have to be very clear that within the region if I plot anywhere or if I draw anywhere in between one line that is stripe the foot of the stripe should be the lower limit the top of the stripe should be the upper limit and before that I should ensure that this activity whether I am here or I am here or I am anywhere in the region within this region the bottom line should be the same and the top line should be same then we get a one integral so here what is the first limit first limit is y equals to 0 that is the lower limit and y equals to x square is the upper limit so this comes out to be the variable now once you done with the first limit your second task is to find out the limit of x now what is x over here x is equals to x is equals to here let me write down x is equals to here when sec first limit is a variable then obviously the second limit will be the constant there is no no variable variable it's not possible so for that you have to find out what are the two points with the constant lines x constant lines within which the diagram is completed so one is this line itself this is the x equals to 0 and minimum value is x is equals to 0 so x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 2 is the minimum and maximum bounds within which this diagram or region is available so here the lower limit of x is 0 and the upper limit of x is equals to here it is 2 so once you're done with the integration we we once you're done with the limit we are here with the integration so here x into y into this is dy I am taking first and then this is with respect to x second now what is the next step next step is x is equals to 0 to 2 is on hold you can even keep your x outside and integration is to be done from 0 to x square of this is the limit of y for y into dy and uh, this is constant so first performance is for y so this x is equals to 0 is keep on noting down because 0 to 2 first integration is to be done for y and integration of y is y square by 2 and then I have a limit uh, of that is from 0 to x square and dx is still on hold the first part is taking a limit and then evaluation and in evaluation whatever limit is variable that is to be done first here y is variable so y is to be done first then only when you drop down the value of y in terms of x square everything will be in the one variable so that is the whole process next is x is equals to 0 to 2 keep on writing x is constant and you can put 1 by 2 outside here and when I put x square x square is x to the power 4 minus 0 into d of x after simplification what we will get after simplification this is 1 by 2 outside after multiplication it becomes x is equals to 0 to 2 
x to the power 5 d of x now what is integration of x to the power 5 it is x to the power 6 by 6 0 to 2 1 by 2 uh, limit substitution 2 to the power 6 by 6 now limit done you next is evaluation um, calculation here 2 will cancel it becomes 5 times here 2 3 is a and there a 4 so I got 2 to the power 4 by 3 2 to the power 4 means 16 by 3 is the answer now here we have seen the non rectangular region now let's take for rectangular region now for rectangular region we have a x is equals to 0 x is equals to 1 so x is equals to 0 is this y axis this is x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 1 is this one so I'll say x is equals to 1 y is equals to 0 is x axis so I'll write y is equals to 0 and y is equals to 2 is this line so y is equals to let me write down. y is equals to 2 is this line so y is equals to 2 so in this case I got this region which is rectangular in shape so limit can be done anything might you can go first in the x direction and then cover this in the y so vice versa it will have the same kind of structure so I'll write x is equals to 0 to 1 and y is equals to 0 to sorry here it is 2 I'm sorry y is equals to 0 to 2 and the function is x plus y so first integration I have taken decision to be done with respect to x y in my last lecture I share with you if the function constant limit if the function is implicit then we have to do it one by one but if it is explicit we can do it separately but right now we have to do it one by one because we cannot separate x and y so first y on hold and integration is to be performed with respect to x so x is present here integration of x is x squared by 2 plus y is constant so integration of y is y times x and limit of x is 0 to 1 and then so first a step done integration next is plugging in the value of x from here x is here x is here so I am going to put the value of x, x equals to 1 is upper limit so it will be 1 by 2 and here x is equals to 1 so y times 1 is y and that's done because the lower limit when you put 0 0 we won't get anything out of it so this part is done for x next is to be do is to be done for y now since here 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 times y and then integration of y is y square by 2 and the limit of integration are y is equals to 0 to 2 now first step is evaluation integration then putting the value when I'm putting 2 over here so 2 by 2 will get cancel I get 1 here plus here 4 by 2 and it will be 2 so answer comes out to because lower limit again I when I put y is equals to 0 0 it will not give me anything so I am getting 1 plus 2 and the answer is 3 I hope you have understood these two cases welcome with many more example in my next lecture thank you